Hi guys, so yeah, just a quick video. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you know why I'm wearing this shirt. Um, big, big happy day for us Liverpool fans today. Yes, we were playing Man United in the Premier League. Wasn't too optimistic going into the game because you know Man United, they're not bitter rivals, but it's, you know, it's a big game. But they've been in a, they're having a good season. They're third in the Premier League. They've just won the Carabao Cup. They were in a, on a good run of form coming into this game, and we've been so inconsistent this season. So I was thinking, eh, despite our two 0 win over Wolves, I was thinking this is going to be a tough game. Um, <laughs> and we won seven nil. Yes. 7-0! We beat Man United 7-0. I'll say it again. 7-0. Oh my God. It's the biggest ever victory of Man United, I think, in our, our club's history. It's one of their biggest ever defeats, I think, since the since the 60s, I think. So, and... <laughs> unbelievable. Who would have predicted that? I did not think we were going to win 7-0. I thought it would be a really tough, tight game. And maybe it would be a draw or a very close defeat or a very close win. But 7-0! What the hell? So, unbelievable. So the first goal came from a Cody Gakpo. 43 minutes. Woohoo! So yeah, it was quite even for most of the first half. I think Man United actually had the more shots on target. Um, so they were looking more dangerous for the bits of the first half with um, Rashford and Anthony. They came close. Oh, got some good saves from Alisson. <laughs> but then out of nowhere, Cody Gakpo. Boom! 1-0. Fantastic. And then, on the 47th minute, Darwin Nunes, boom, 2 nils. Like, yes, come on, this is great, fantastic. Uh, and then, who, who scored the third goal? Yeah, Cody Gakpo got a second, 3 nil on the 50th minute. I'm like, but this is a dream, lad. Yeah, apparently, the second half, I didn't watch the game, sadly, I was at a rehearsal, but apparently the second half, uh, Man United were rubbish, completely at sea, we just absolutely steamrolled them. Uh, so, yeah, 3 nil. Uh, and then 4-0, who scored, who made it 4 nil? Hang on. Uh, Salah, 66th minute, Salah got a goal. Um, and then 5 0. Then 5 0 was Darwin Nunes, 75th minute. 6 0 was Salah again, 83rd minute. And then to icing on the cake, Bobby Firmino on the 88th minute uh, makes it 7 0. 7 0! <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I mean, wow. Who'd have thought that? 7 FE. I've said it again one more time 7 0. I mean, wow. What a victory for us. I mean, pff, Man United, I love it. I mean, it's their first defeat in quite a while. And it's against us, their bitter rivals, because it's, it's such a big, nasty rivalry, us and Man United. And um, whenever they come to Anfield, it's always a big game. But so, who'd have thought that? I thought it was going to be a really tough game. Like I said, Man United had chances in the first half with Anthony and Rashford, but some good saves. And we got we got the goals. And, but which absolutely steamrolled them in the second half. And I've got to say, Man United, man, where did this performance come from from them? Because they've been in good form. Like I said, won the Carabao Cup. They've won several games in a row. And we've been so inconsistent this season with lots of disappointing defeats, lots of, dis lots of disappointing draws. But now, because of this win today, let me look at the standings, we're now fifth and we're only... Um, three points behind Tottenham and we still have a game in hand I believe so yeah we're climbing up that table now trying to get top four I mean Newcastle are only a point behind us with the game in hand but Newcastle are kind of sli slip and slidey at the minute with their form so yeah we're climbing that table and what a win today what a win Man United Man United stay third um, but but uh, who knows if we if this form continues we might catch up Man United because we're only seven points behind Man United now um, 13 games to go so I was so down with our mid-season review and, and further but we've I think this has got to be surely the turning of a corner now beating our bitter bitter rivals um, <laughs> Man United our bitter North West rivals <laughs> Stephen Nill at Anfield absolutely incredible uh, Salah got two goals Nunes got two goals and Gakpo got two goals absolutely incredible um, dreamland absolute dreamland so yeah, this I think Liverpool's fight for fourth is definitely on because that's what we've got left to play for this season now. Just trying to get back in that top four, and I think this win shows that when the, when this team fully play together and clock together, despite a lot of the problems this season, we can go and do that and beat a very good Man United team who are, who are having a good season. You know, so so just to finish off with the stats, we had eight shots on target. Man United had four. We had sixteen shots overall. Man United had seven. We had sixty percent possession. Man United had forty percent possession. Um, 
Alisson did make four saves, to, to be fair. Alisson four saves, De Gea only made one save, because, well, all the rest, all the other goals went in. <laughs> so, what a game. Absolutely incredible. Um, <laughs> I just can't believe it, man. Gakpo with two, Nunes with two, Salah with two, and Bobby Firmino with one. That's great, too. Icing on the cake, like I said, because he's leaving at the end of the season. So, absolutely incredible. I just, pff, any fellow Liverpool fans, what are your thoughts? Comment below, let me know. Any fellow Man United fans... So our next few games, just to finish off this video, we've got Bournemouth uh, next uh, well, Bournemouth next week. We should win that away. We've got, the, we've got the second leg of Real Madrid. We ain't going to win that. We'll just play as well as we can. We've got Fulham on the 18th of March and Anfield. Fingers crossed. Big one. Then Man City on the 1st of April at half 12. Ooh, so we'll see what happens there. And then, and then on the 4th of April, we've got Chelsea away. 9th of April. And we've, we've got Arsenal. So quite a few big games coming up. See you guys, do you think Liverpool are back? Do you think this was a massive big step in our tight fight now to finish off the season? There's only, obviously, there's only um, 11 games left now to finish off the season. We're in the final third of the season now, so do you think Liverpool can do it and get a fourth place I, with that win today? How we absolutely battered a very good Man United team who we were having a good season. We absolutely battered them, handed them the... <laughs> 7-0, I love it. So yeah, thank you all for watching guys, um, and I'll speak to you all very soon.